everybody, it's Lisa Birmingham, and I'm so glad that you're here with me. With Halloween quickly approaching, that means it's time to have a spooky Halloween dinner party. I'm gonna show you how to make a centerpiece out of sticks. We're gonna do some mini cauldron place cards filled with candy. I'm gonna show you how to put together a place setting with mismatch plates. It's gonna be so much fun, and we're gonna end up with a spooky looking tablescape that was so easy to put together. My Tablescape is in collaboration with Heidi Sambel from Happily Thriving Heidi. Now if you don't know Heidi, she is awesome. She does some great things on her channel. She does a room of the month makeovers, she does organization, and she does some great home decor. Now Heidi has assembled an amazingly talented group of ladies and has challenged us to do some fall table decor. I chose to do a Halloween table setting, but I know a lot of the other ladies are gonna do some other amazing table designs, so make sure you check them out. I will leave a link to the playlist in the description box below, as well as a link to Heidi's channel. If this is the first time that you're visiting my channel, then welcome. I'm Lisa. I do DIYs, home decor, party ideas, and holiday entertaining. I post weekly videos and I have a lot of fun upcoming projects and collaborations to celebrate all of the upcoming holidays. I would love to have you subscribe and join my channel so you won't miss out on any of them. Now I'm setting the Halloween scene with this tablecloth. It's got spiders and spider webs on it. It not only gives me the theme of spiders for my tablescape, but it also gives me a color scheme with the black and the white. And on the center, I'm going to add this gauze. This is gonna act as a runner. It's also gonna be a nice bright pop in the center of this table so that I can add my candles and my galvanized lanterns on top and they will really pop. Now I know that you are all so busy with all kinds of parties and events this time of year. So I'm gonna show you how to make a quick centerpiece that is very affordable. So what I did was I just scoured my neighborhood for some branches and for some sticks, and I removed the leaves once I found the sticks that I wanted, and then I spread them out on a large piece of paper outside, and then I got some black spray paint. I sprayed a few coats of paint all over the branches, and then I let it dry completely. And I ended up with these great black creepy sticks. Now I'm gonna put my sticks inside of this galvanized lantern. I got this lantern at Target in an after 4th of July clearance sale. It was 50% off, so it was only $2.50 was a bargain. I love bargains. The only problem is that it has this red band around the bottom, which isn't gonna fit in with my tablescape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this wrapping paper. It's black and white houndstooth and it's gonna fit in with my tablescape. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out a strip large enough that I can wrap it around the base of my lantern. And then in the center of that, I'm going to get an orange ribbon. Now the orange ribbon is going to add an extra pop of color and a little more interest to my lantern. Now that my lantern is decorated, I'm going to add in my sticks. I'm going to spread them out evenly. And then on the ends of the branches, I'm going to add these little ornaments that I have. They are so cute. I've got some bats and some skeletons and a little mummy. I got them at Home Goods, And then at the end of that, I'm going to add in a few little wispy spider webs, these little cotton spider webs. That's just gonna add an extra little eerie touch to my tree. I got this spider-like candle holder at Burlington. Now, it's gonna be the perfect base for my galvanized lantern. Not only is this gonna to contribute to the spider theme, but it's also going to give my centerpieces extra height and drama. Now it's time for my plates. Now I'm going to mix and match my table setting plates today. Number one, because I don't have enough of one kind, and number two, because I like the way it looks. Now I have some round circular plates that I got from the Dollar Tree. I have four of those. And then I have these square plates that I got from Home Goods. 
They're orange and polka dot, they're so cute. And what's gonna tie them together is the color. The square ones have this black polka dot that ties in with the black plates. Also, another thing that's gonna tie them together are the salad plates. Everybody's gonna get one of these. These are just paper plates that I got at Target and I'm gonna set them in the center and it will tie everything together. I'm gonna use these mini cauldrons as place card holders. Now I just filled them up with candy corn and with some York peppermint patties and then I made these little name tags. I just did it on my computer. I printed it out and I cut them up and I'm just gonna tuck them right inside. That way everybody knows where they're supposed to be sitting. I also got these napkins at Target. They are so cute. They say Happy Halloween. And I'm just gonna place these right underneath my cauldron. And again, it has that black and white theme, so it will just add to the whole feel of the tablescape. These silver vampire teeth are one of my favorite pieces of Halloween decor. I got them years ago at Home Goods, and they're actually a place card holder, but I'm gonna use them as a napkin ring today. I got these orange cloth napkins at JCPenney, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide it through my teeth, I'm gonna pull it through, and then I'm gonna fan out the top and the bottom, and they're gonna be a perfect little pop of color at each place setting. Instead of spending more money on glasses, I'm just gonna reuse ones that I already have. However, I'm going to theme them with these orange and black and white and black paper straws. By adding these straws, it gives your clear glasses a Halloween feel. The final step is just to fill in the center runner. Now, when I bought these spiders at the Dollar Tree, they were black but I gave them a light coating of gold to make them more custom. I'm just gonna scatter these throughout the runner. I also have these cute little cups and I'm going to add a candle inside, a floating candle, because what is the Halloween tablescape without candles? So in here, I'm gonna add some floating candles and then I also have these little pumpkin votive candle holders. I'm gonna light these up and the dim candlelight will add to the eerie feel of our Halloween tablescape. Now my Halloween table setting is set and ready for my guests. Halloween is such a fun time to have people over for a night of fun-filled fright. I hope you got some inspiration or some ideas so that you can put together a memorable Halloween tablescape. There are so many ways to put a fun twist on your Halloween table decor. If you're looking to throw a spooky and unique dinner party, try making a simple centerpiece out of sticks. Use a variety of colorful Halloween dishes and turn a cauldron full of candy into a place card holder. If you're looking for other fall decor or party ideas, then I've got some videos for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching.